The authors of this video presentation have no financial interests to declare. Management options of keratoconus, depending on the severity of the disease, vary from spectacles, contact lenses, and intracorneal ring segments. The other options include collagen cross-linking, lasers, and keratoplasty. The five-point management algorithm simplifies decision-making for treatment of various stages of keratoconus. However, treatment options for advanced disease with intolerance to contact lenses are limited. Among the less invasive treatment options, topo-guided photorefractive keratectomy and collagen cross-linking brings about better visual rehabilitation. However, the major limitation of topo-guided treatment is that it is possible only in cornea with more than 450 micron thickness. Intax is another less invasive treatment option for advanced keratoconus and delays transplant for these patients. Intax was used in the early 90s but soon became a dead procedure due to its unpredictable outcomes. Now we have a new way to make better use for this procedure. It's time we start digging and find newer modalities for using Intax in the management of keratoconus. Reintroducing Intax vested with the powers of topoguided treatment. The Cretan protocol was then introduced which ablated 50 micron of central tissue that flattened the cornea which we believe works better for the central cones. Keratoconus presents with various sizes and locations of cones. Traditional laser systems do not allow decentration of the treatment zone. Is there any way we can achieve visual outcomes comparable to those of topo-guided photorefractive keratectomy in corneas with less than 450 micron thickness using Intax? The answer is a resounding yes. We now have ITREC. ITREC stands for Intax followed by topo-guided removal of epithelium in keratoconus. According to the Intax planning nomogram, which we had published, we insert a single ring or two rings in the corneal stroma in the first part of the surgery. The Intax ring shrinks the cone and also helps to move it towards the center. After the topography is stable, usually after three months, we plan a topo-guided treatment using the Schwind Amorous. Instead of the routine topo-guided photorefractive keratectomy, which ablates an average of 66 microns of tissue over 5.5 millimeter, Trek uses PTK to remove only 20 microns of stroma beyond the thinnest corneal epithelium over the cone. The area of the cone, as well as its displacement from the center, is measured on the tangential anterior map. Planning is done on the PTK Custom Ablation Manager software, where the ablation depth is kept at 20 microns, more than the thinnest epithelial thickness, measured with the help of the ASOCT. Since the ablation is topo-guided with an iris recognition software, the epithelium over the cone and the underlying 20 microns of stroma is precisely ablated, making sure that the epithelium over the intacts is not disturbed. The area of the cone is usually small. Therefore, the epithelium around the ablated zone, but within the intact rings, is manually scraped. This is followed by accelerated cross-linking with 0.1% riboflavin drops. Thus, ITREC is an innovative treatment option which gives the visual benefits of a topo-guided photorefractive keratectomy and collagen cross-linking in corneas with advanced keratoconus. This also brings about a regularization and flattening of a keratoconic cornea with significant improvement in the uncorrected 
विजुअल एक्यूरेसी